Welcome to a webcast produced by the Learning Enhancement Team based in the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia. This webcast is part of the Steps into Algebra series and concerns simple factorisation. This guide introduces a simple technique to help the factorisation of algebraic expressions and equations with common factors in each term. Introduction Factorisation introduces brackets into mathematical expressions and equations. To do this, you identify common elements within the terms of the expression or equation. These common elements are called common factors. Identifying common factors is useful when simplifying expressions and manipulating algebraic fractions. This guide is about the simplest form of factorisation, where there are factors common to every term in an expression. The factorisation of quadratic expressions is different and is discussed in the study guide, Factorising Quadratic Expressions. Factorising Terms Terms are pieces of mathematics which are separated by addition or subtraction symbols. For example, the expression 3x squared plus 5x minus 6 has three terms plus 3x squared plus 5x and minus 6. Each term in an algebraic expression can be broken down into its constituent parts or factors. Normally a term will contain numbers and variables in the form of letters. If the term only has variables in it Remember that the variables are multiplied by 1. You could and should write the 1 before the variables to remind you that it is there. This will help you when you are factorising. Let's look at an example. Write 6x cubed in factored form. To break down a term, you first consider the sign of the term, then the numerical part, and finally the alphabetical part, representing the variables, in alphabetical order. So firstly, consider the sign. The sign of 6x cubed is positive. Next, consider the numerical part. The numerical part of 6x cubed is 6. In prime factor form, 6 can be written as 6 equals 2 multiplied by 3. Finally, consider the variables. The variable part of 6x cubed is x cubed, which is x multiplied by x multiplied by x in full. Considering the three steps above, 6x cubed can be written as 6x cubed equals plus, which is the sign, 2 times 3, which is the 6, times x times x times x. If you find any of these steps difficult or confusing, you should read the study guides on Snellphabet, Prime Factors and or the Laws of Indices. Let's do another example. Write minus 12x squared y cubed in factored form. Firstly, the sign is negative. You should represent a minus sign as multiplication by minus 1. The numerical part is 12, which is 2 times 2 times 3 in prime factor form. The alphabetical part written out in full is x squared times y cubed equals x multiplied by x, which is x squared, multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y, which is y cubed. So, minus 12x squared y cubed can be written as minus 12x squared y cubed equals minus 1 for the minus sign multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which is the 12, multiplied by x multiplied by x, which is x squared, multiplied by y, multiplied by y, multiplied by y, which is y cubed. The method of simple factorisation. 
When you attempt to factorise an expression or equation, you should follow this method. Step 1. List each term in the expression in factored form down your page. Step 2. Write an empty set of brackets as a template for your factorised answer. Step 3. Look at your factored forms. If any factor appears in every list, then continue on to step 4. If not, you cannot factorise your expression in this way. Step 4. Beginning with signs, then numbers, then variables in alphabetical order, check for factors which appear in every list, called common factors. These are written outside the brackets in your template and then crossed out from the lists. You can then multiply these common factors together to find the overall common factor of your expression. Step 5. The mathematics that is left in your lists after step 4 is then written as a sum inside the brackets in your template. Step 6. Tidy up your answer. Let's do an example to illustrate this. Factorise 6x cubed minus 12x squared y cubed. Let's look at step 1. Step 1 asks us to write each term plus 6x cubed and minus 12x squared y cubed in its factored form. So breaking down plus 6x cubed the sign is plus. 6 is 2 multiplied by 3 in prime factor form. And x cubed is x times x times x. Minus 12x squared y cubed can be written as minus 1 for the minus sign. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which is 12. And x times x times y times y times y, which is x squared y cubed. In step 2, your answer will take the form where you have to determine what goes outside the bracket and also inside the bracket. Step 3. The factors 2, 3 and x all appear in both lists, so you can carry on to step 4. Step 4. The first term is positive and the second term is negative, and so you do not have a common sign. The numbers 2 and 3 are common in each list. And so crossed from the lists. Finally you have x times x which equals x squared common in each list which is crossed from the lists. You can now determine the common factor of your expression. You have 2 and 3 as numerical common factors and x squared as the variable common factor. Multiplying these together gives the common factor of the expression as 6x squared, which is written outside the brackets in your template to give 6x squared multiplied by something is yet to be determined. Step 5. You write what is left over from your lists as a sum inside the brackets. In the first term, plus x is left over. In the second term you have minus 1 times 2 times y times y times y which equals minus 2y cubed left over. So the factorised form is 6x squared multiplied by plus x plus minus 2y cubed. Step 6. The signs in the brackets need to be tidied up to give the final answer. 6x squared plus x plus minus 2y cubed 
equals 6x squared multiplied by x minus 2y cubed. The result can always be checked by opening the brackets to make sure your answer is identical to the original expression. See study guide, opening brackets. Let's do another example. Factorise x times y times z plus x squared times y times z minus x times y squared times z plus x times y times z squared. Step 1. Write in factored form xyz equals plus x times y times z x squared y times z equals plus x times x times y times z minus x y squared z equals minus 1 times x times y times y times z and finally x y z squared equals plus x times y times z times z step 2 the answer has the form this step 3 x y and z are common in each list and so you can carry on to step 4 step 4 crossing out the common factor of x y z and writing it outside the bracket gives an answer which looks like xyz multiplied by something that's yet to be determined. Step 5. Write what is remaining from your lists as a sum inside the brackets. In the first term all the factors have been crossed out. Remember that xyz equals plus 1 times x times y times z and so you have plus one remaining. If you cross out all the factors then there is always one left over, never zero. In the second term you have plus x. In the third term minus y. And in the fourth term plus z remaining. The factorised form is xyz multiplied by plus 1 plus x plus minus y plus z. Step 6. Tidying up the answer gives x times y times z brackets plus 1 plus x plus minus y plus z equals x times y times z multiplied by 1 plus x minus y plus z in brackets. Further guidance and information. If you have any further questions about algebra or would like to discuss any other aspects of mathematics you can talk to your lecturer or personal advisor or make an appointment to see a learning enhancement tutor in the Dean of Students office. You can telephone 01603 592761 email dos.help at or visit our website at www.uea.ac.uk forward slash dos forward slash let There are further resources on many other aspects of numeracy mathematics, statistics and science available from the Dean of Students office and on its website. These include questions to practice, model solutions and webcasts illustrating essential skills. This guidance is one of a series on mathematics produced by the Dean of Students office at the University of East Anglia.